All right, here it is. Umarex Ready Air. What I want to show you today is actually just how to use it. How to use it and plug it into a gun, make it work. I think that's the, the easiest way. So what I'm going to do is just tilt this forward for a second. I'm going to come around the table and lean it forward. So I had this set to fill up uh, the hammer. So we filled up a hammer with it at 4,500. All I'm going to do is press the down arrow. It's that simple. We don't have to get complicated with it. And you hold it down. The longer you hold it down, the faster it goes. And I'm going to bring this down to 3,600. The Air Sabers uh, goes like 3625 or 3640 somewhere in that area and so I just I round it down to the nearest hundred just to keep things simple It also works for uh, trying to figure out what your shot strings will look like uh, as you're setting up. So We're moving down here. Oops. I overshot it a little bit. I just punched it up one or two now We're at 3600 above here is the current pressure which is actually the pressure inside the air rifle and then it'll read that out here and you can also confirm that on your gun to see how accurate your gauge is and then on top of that you have uh, or right next to that, you actually have the current temperature. That's the internal operating temperature. At 87 degrees, you'll hear it kind of fire up. At 87 degrees, the fan kicks in. And once the fan kicks in, uh, it, it does have to try to keep the temperature down. It will not let itself overheat. If it gets too hot, it'll automatically shut down so that it does not ruin the uh, compressor. And those of you that have used that other stuff that's out there have known if you forget and it overheats, it just seizes it up and you're done. This thing is a little bit, little bit of smart technology. In it. So... Uh, with this, it actually shows you overall how many minutes it's been in use. It'll tell you it took me 18 minutes or 10 minutes or 11 minutes to fill up the saber, and it should be good. So I'm getting ready to fire it up here in a second. So I've got everything set like I need it. The only thing I'm going to do is once I get it plugged in, is just press the on button and have it start right back up. So safety glasses first before I do anything from there. And I'm going to take my little adapter that I have that plugs into this gun here. Place that in place, and I just give it a little quick tug just to make sure that uh, everything's good to go. And plug it into the port. It's that simple. So all I'm going to do at this point here is I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Uh, just, just have something available because it'll take you 10 minutes or 15 minutes, and you don't really want to leave it. Uh, you can sit in a chair next to it or whatever, but uh, I, get a, I usually get on the cell phone or whatever it is. You can text your mom, um, watch whatever you're going to watch if you're going to watch instagram you can watch me give you some more tips put some headphones in and go for it from there uh or just text your friends i don't know communicate so here we go so with this uh, we'll go ahead and start it up Okay, so now we've let this thing cool down below 87 degrees. Once it's below 87 degrees, you can actually unplug it uh, and you know, you're good to go from there. And you can feel the head's actually pretty cool uh, from the top portion of it. So what we have to do next to utilize this thing, uh, and you can actually, the only reason I'm doing this this way right now, but once it's done pumping, you can actually bleed it off. But I just wanted to actually show you the process. So what we actually do here is we're gonna take, because there's line pressure in here, if I tried to pull this out, it would pop the O-rings, it might come out and whip you, or something like that. So what you wanna do is actually just bleed this off first. So I actually, honestly don't even think you could probably pull it out of there, but I bleed off all the pressure. What you'll see is a little bit of moisture come out of there. All right, tighten that back up and that probe should slide out of there nice and easy. So once it slides out of there, you're good to go. On top, it'll show your inlet pressure on top, and that's another thing when you bleed it, you can verify what your pressure looks like on top, and it says that it's zero. But that's how you take the Umarex Ready Air. That's how we take this baby, and this, that's how we fill up an air saver with it, and you fill up everything else exactly the same. Some of them don't require like the gauntlet or the, uh, the hammer. Some of them don't actually require the probe uh, or an adapter to it. You can just plug it right in and go to, go to work on it. It's great. Nice thing is it's portable, 12 volt, direct current and uh, 110 AC. So great product. You guys get out there and buy it, $549. That's how you operate. It's super simple. You can fill them all day long. Uh, it works great. If you're out in the hot weather, make sure you put it underneath the tree, get yourself some shade, uh, put it in a well-ventilated area. What I'm telling you is don't fill it in the back seat of your truck. Uh, if you're in a confined space, you might want to put some hearing protection on. That's up to you. All right. With that, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's TX Hog Dude. If you guys want to follow me on uh, Facebook, it's Iden Hansen Official. Other than that, you guys need to go out and buy the Ready Air, and you probably should buy an Air Saver anyways. You guys have fun slinging lead.